Hi there. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Good to meet uh, you. I think it's a question to ask considering Transformers is based on, you know, like toys and things like that. And I do want to ask on a more broader scope. Uh, have you, because you've had so many sort of jobs, played so many characters, have you taken home any sort of like merchandise, toys, or just even mementos that remind you of an experience that could be given to you by a coworker or by a fan? What, like, do you own that, like, personally, you know, resonates with you? Hmm. Well, I'd have to say the toys themselves. I mean, there's, I've got an action figure. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's really, I mean, for me, I, I'm, I'm as delighted today of being in this business and doing what I do as I was back when I got my first job. I'm still as amazed that I, I've had the chance to do what I've done, you know, and, uh, you know, being a part of Transformers, it's not my show. It was a show that has such, there's such a love for it now. I feel really fortunate that I got to be a part of that show. In my, you know, one of the things I did in my career, like I said, I was starting out fairly new. I didn't know, you know, we didn't know that it was going to turn into what it's turned into, you know, and have all these iterations and, and, and different generations of it and everything else. Uh, so I think something that I would have would be the, you know, the, my, my action figure. I always joke about the fact that in, in, in G.I. Joe, I have, I have Transformers, and I saw a sweep action figure out there, okay. which was a voice I did. And in G.I. Joe, I had this character, Sci-Fi, that I played. And I remember because they made a Sci-Fi character, and in that, that's a more of a war one, and that one, his Sci-Fi's uh, skill is that he, he shoots this laser beam. He has a laser gun. And he can hold really still and shoot this laser gun. And I thought, how cool. I finally got an action toy, except what is his skill? Holding still. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> let's just put, okay, go. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's just there. But I, for me, it would be, I think it would be that, that I have these things that were me. Go in the store, it's hanging right there. Hmm. Anyway, Paul? That's a, that's, that's a biggie. Um, in my youth, uh, instead of, uh, uh, because when I was younger, we, there was no such thing as a DVR or you didn't watch things over and over again. And there were a lot of, there weren't a lot of, they were not video games. There were cartoons, but they, they did, there weren't a lot of things that were made. Um, I'm telling you when I was very young. Uh, in my teens, um, for me, those those really important things that I held close to my heart uh, were records. Uh, you know that that I still have uh, that really mean something to me. It, not just the song, but it brings back the memory of who I was and what what I was uh, what I was experiencing. Those happy moments. Um, and it's wonderful having the, the physical uh, thing there to, that I can hold. <laughs> it's important. It's like my daughter. My daughter is now 31. And she has a, a, a doll that we gave her, actually a little doggy that we gave her when she was one. And she takes it with her everywhere. She's in West Virginia now teaching, and it's with her. Um I think those things are important. They, they are for us to hold on to those moments. And I understand totally people who have uh, a reverence for uh, either a video game or the Transformers. Uh, I've got, listen, I've got four or five different versions, um, different uh, uh, of, of Perceptor. Uh, and this whole idea of being a toy, wow. <laughs> uh, every, you know, uh, and, and even when I, they have this little figure of, um, 
a character I did in Incredibles 2, um, uh, Reflux. And he's barfing. You see this yellow stuff coming in? <laughs> Somebody sent it to me. It's like, it's on my mantle. Uh, and it will stay there through the holidays. Um, so every time something like that happens, or the, the uh, no zone from the um, Toxic Crusaders, he's an action toy. What you do, because his, 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 uh, his power was sneezing, what his action is, there's a green goo that you get, and you push it through the back of his head, and it comes out of his nose. <laughs> That's me. Uh, <laughs> But all those things, you know. Uh, you got a lot of puking toys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I seem to do a lot of characters that have physical problems. <laughs> Way back with, oh, God, I did a character called Gesundheiten in, uh, oh, what is this, in, in uh, The Tick. He was, that was, his super, his power was sneezing again. It's like, oh, uh, I haven't had one that excretes air the other direction yet <laughs> but there's always tomorrow uh, <laughs> uh yeah so it's it's a joy and it makes you feel how how damn lucky we are you know um and i take none of it for granted anybody who's known me for any length of time either on facebook or or you know when we've met before knows that uh, we're blessed. We're really lucky. Because mm -hmm. if it wasn't for the Transformers, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. You know? Uh, yeah. That answer you at all? <laughs> oh, that, these are just, those are really sweet, wholesome questions. And I'm, also some answers, and I'm really glad, and I'm really happy that, you know, you guys have such great stories about them, even amidst all the nasal problems with your toys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. A pleasure. Okay, for Jerry. Yeah. You just said sci-fi on G.I. Joe, and he was in one memorable episode, and I want to know if you remember this, but the episode where Sergeant Slaughter takes sci-fi to a sci-fi convention. You, yeah. Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that in a long, long time. And yet you're living it right now. I'm living it right now. It's pretty cool. 